Welcome back to Venture Onward. Today I plan to talk about one of the most highly regarded stories, Days of Future Past, the most prominent X-Men tale ever. Now, for the 60th anniversary of the Mutant Gang's 1963 debut, Marvel Comics is re-entering the future timeline of the definitive account to serve in some of the narrative's blanks with a four-issue limited series titled X-Men, Days of Future Past, Doomsday. Initially told in just two points, 1981's Uncanny X-Men No. 141 and No. 142, Days of Future Past, concentrates on a future where mutants have been pursued almost to death, with Kitty Pride returning in time to attempt to prevent her reality from coming to be. For X-Men, Days of Future Past, Doomsday, vet X-Men scribe Mark Guggenheim and artist Manuel Garcia will come back to that future Earth to grow on the tale told in Days of Future Past by examining the futures of numerous X-Men characters who weren't caught in the initial story. Growing up, I never thought I'd get the chance to write the X-Men as many times as I have. I particularly never thought I'd be able to play around in the amazing timeline that Chris Claremont and John Byrne brought to life in Days of Future Past, Guggenheim said in Marvel's announcement. I still have the most vivid memory of visiting the stationery store where I used to buy my comics and seeing Uncanny X-Men No. 141 on the rack. That iconic cover blew my nine-year-old mind. My goal with this story is to fill in some missing gaps in the 30-year period that Kate Pride summarized in just four panels back in the day, Guggenheim finishes. Prior familiarity with the original story won't be required. The end result is an event that feels like the X-Men story to end all X-Men stories. At least, that's the bullseye we're aiming at. Well, that's about it. X-Men, Days of Future Past. Doomsday number one moves on sale July 12th. Until next time, venture onward. Thank you for listening.